Hey hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go take a walk and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is I'm a Gang Abiel. This gets a lot of good remarks and reviews from what I've seen and read about this beer so far. And I'm going to read what it says on the bottle to you here too. I'm a Gang Abel, Abby Dubell is uh, inspired by the centuries old brewing tradition of the Belgian Trappist monks. Named after Belgium's oldest medieval fest, every bottle of I'm a Gang is called for celebration. Pour slowly as not to disturb the yeast sediment, but with enough vigor to create a luxurious head and release a rich a bouquet. So, be gentle with this one, I guess. Don't stir up the sediment. Uh, this comes from the brewery Ama Gang. They're out of Cooperstown, New York, guys. It is a double or duvel uh, coming in at 8.50 ABV, a little on the stronger side. So, be careful with this one. Drink it at home. Uh, the food pairings, the cheeses are the buttery, brie, gouda, Cavardi, Swiss, your pungent, gorgonzola, even Limburger is going to go with this. Uh, and the meat, they say, is beef. Uh, the glassware, the goblet, the chalice, I like using the Duval glass for this, guys. Uh, it says it can be cellar for extended periods with the 8.50, so you can keep this one around a while. It is a year-round serving, so they make it all year round. If you can get their beers in your area, you'll probably get this one, so... Oh, a nice little fizz back on that one. Right carbonated it sounded like, so I don't know if it's bottle conditioned or not. So let's get this in the glass. Strong aroma off of that. Wow. That pour is a very rich cherry, almost a burgundy color in the glass. And as you can see, a good finger and a half of head there on that. Yeah, it's pretty semi-aggressive pour there, so. Oh yeah. A lot of bubbles trimming up from that. Good looking beer. Really good looking beer. Let's get a nose on it and see what we got. That's exactly what I got off that bottle of smell this is not going to go. Cherries, just dark cherries and maybe some dates or figs or some darker fruits. Super sweet smell. It's almost like candy. Wow, that's got a super sweet aroma. It's almost like wine. Wow, cotton candy in a glass. Definitely cherries. Wow. Now the head has dropped down you know, a little less than a finger of head there. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, sediment there in the top of the head at the end of the bottle there. I probably shouldn't have poured it quite so aggressive at the end. May have got some of the sediment in there, but it looks pretty good in a glass. It's not cloudy at all, so. Wow, that smells delicious. Cheers, everybody. I believe this is going to be a winner, and I didn't put my tongue in it yet. Yes. That is wonderful. Cherries. Cherries is the predominant predominant fruit that I'm getting, predominant taste I'm getting there on this beer. Uh, very sweet, but it's not to the barley wine sweetness to me. Uh, it's got enough hops to balance it out. I'm not tasting or smelling any hops, but it's not like I'm putting a, uh, a stick of a sugar cube or anything in my mouth. It's definitely sweet. 
but it's got some balance to it. That is really nice. This is a winner. This is definitely a winner above average beer. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got just a slight amount of alcohol, but it's very well hidden in this beer. This is a top-notch beer, guys. I'm pretty sure it's going to get a pretty good grade tonight. And it's right out of the fridge, so I'm going to warm up like I always do. And I'll be right back, and we're going to do that final chug. See if any other aromas come out as it warms up. I'll be right back, and we'll discuss that. See you then. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit of glass left here. Been sipping on it probably about 30 minutes or so. As it warms up, you can smell a little bit or taste more of the alcohol content in this. I mean. But of course, it's a it's an eight and a half percent beer. It's not going to be like a a four percent beer. You're definitely going to have a little bit more aroma in it as it warms up. But it's still nice. I'm still getting a lot of fruity aromas, uh, honey, caramel, dark fruits, cherries. Cherries is the biggest thing I was getting. So very nice. It's a winner. Final chat, guys. Left a little bit in there, didn't I? Oh, yeah. We don't want to waste any of that. That's an A beer. That's definitely an A beer. I'm going to give that a 9 on a scale tonight, guys. That's a, that's a winner. So if you have that one, let me know. Uh, I liked it, didn't like it, loved it. I loved it. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Uh, Rate Beer has its 99 overall, 100 in the style. So... A lot of people there is liking it for them to come up with those ratings. Beer Abbott has it an A minus. I think it's a little bit better than a minus. So I'm gonna give it the full fledged A. I'm not giving it to ten, but I'm giving it to nine. That's as that's as good as it gets for tonight with this one. So guys, let me know if you've had it, not had it. If you've seen it, pick it up. I think you'll like it. It's a it's a pretty tasty beer, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. We're gonna do another one. I don't know what it is yet, but. That place is as good as this one. That'd be nice. Two in a row. See you then.